Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see, what is sensitization in, austenitic stainless steel. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Now let us talk about, what is sensitization. Okay, we talk about like, sensitization or you call it, IGC, intergranular corrosion. So at around 450 degrees Celsius, you know, the carbon molecules which are present in the steel, you know, 0.08% if we talk about 304, then they diffuse towards the green boundaries. Okay. After that, what happens? They will form chromium carbide. Okay. They will react with chromium, which is also there in the steel. They will react with that, make a compound called CR4C, chromium carbide. So one carbon atom will consume four atoms of chromium. Okay, And we all know that chromium is the reason for the stainless steel to become stainless, right? So if my chromium is getting consumed, my steel is getting depleted with the chromium element. So and this chromium carbide, you no know, further adding to the problem, this chromium carbide is a very weak compound. You no, know, it's like a very uh, dust kind of thing. Okay, so it does not have any strength. So if it is participating at the uh, precipitating at the boundaries, you know, if you see in this figure, if you, if it precipitates like this, finally, the cracking will happen from that point, right? It will crack from these points, these lines, okay? And that is the reason of intergranular corrosion and cracking, okay? IGCC we call, right? So that is the problem which normally happens at 450 degrees Celsius to 500 roughly in this temperature zone, right? Now, if it is happening, how we can avoid that? How we can avoid so this phenomena is called sensitization. Okay, also IGC. Now, how to take care of this? How we can take care of this phenomena? So the first, you know, okay. Before we uh, go, how to avoid even for welding? You know, if we are doing welding, there also. You know, if we focus on this zone, you know, where that welding is happening, welding is going on, there the temperature will be very high. Okay. Then it will keep on decreasing. Right. So at some point, you know, after some distance away, you will have a zone of the same 450 degrees Celsius. Right. You are going to, yes, heat in, in the heat affected zone, there will be a zone with this temperature range. So there it is going to happen, even though your applications are not up to that temperature, but while welding also, you will see the problem of IGCC. Okay. So what to do, how to take care of this? You know? So this is the weld, this is the passive layer, this is HAZ. You know? So at this zone, which we have indicated, if the temperature is roughly at 450 degrees Celsius, there also you will see that problem of sensitization. I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned for more videos related to materials requirements.